I don't know whether this video should be considered a channel update or a general discussion of things that are on my mind. In any case, I do say this video is not what people were expecting, but I need to speak my mind on a few things. This video will be made up with random stock footage from my real life archives or Train Sim World 4, and things that I want to discuss include my username, current mental state, without going into too many personal details, and explaining why this channel still exists, of course. I should also mention that I do swear sometimes, so here's a course language warning. My current username is one that I thought of in 2018. Although it's become fairly well established in the six years since I started using it, I now think it sounds dumb despite the fact that it sums up the point of my channel in a nutshell. Ironically, I don't consider the city of Taudranga to be a railfan's paradise. Not since 2012 or 2013 anyway. Or hell, even 2014 for the DL asbestos crisis and the resulting bizarre scenes like this one. If you want a proper famous paradise, by New Zealand standards at least, I would recommend filming trains at the embankment south of Papa Toy Toy Station in Auckland, anywhere on the North Island main trunk south of Waikanae Station, or at the Annex Road level crossing in Christchurch. I can't speak for places like Oamaru or Dunedin because I haven't been there since 2007. And as for places like Invercargill or Greymouth, I haven't even been there yet. In the past few weeks, I have seriously considered changing the channel's name, even if only because I'm not actually comfortable with saying it, especially when I get asked about my channel in public. Surprisingly, that even happened when I was riding aboard a high capacity metro train, or HCMT for short, over in Melbourne. But at the same time, I feel like the current username has become so well established at this point that replacing it with something like DC4260 Productions or, that's one Kiwi reviewer, would be stupid. To be honest, I don't really know what to do on this front. As for why I'm still making videos for YouTube, there are a few main reasons. One, I enjoy the actual process of making a video. Two, I like to write my own Thomas the Tank Engine stories. Three, someone needs to take one for the team where the train simulator and the train sim world add-ons are concerned. And four, I barely have anything else going on in my life as of early July 2024. Sometimes, I wake up in the morning feeling like I just want to lie in bed all day, but that doesn't really happen because I also feel like I need to be doing something. I don't really want to waste my time, while I still have it, by sitting around doing absolutely fuck all instead of doing something productive. Despite the existence of my small circle of friends, I still think other areas of the New Zealand Rail fan community are an absolute shit show, albeit for reasons that I will not discuss here. If it's any indication, the Thomas story I wrote back in April 2024, named Go Your Own Way, after a Fleetwood Mac song, was partly inspired by the more toxic side of the community. As for why I don't show my ugly mug or discuss details about my personal life in my normal videos, that's because I prefer to lead as private a life as I can. In any case, I find it bizarre when I get recognised by viewers and other rail fans in public, but that's not to say that I don't care for them watching my videos. Although I'm grateful for the few friends I have left from my school years, not to mention the friends I've made in the railfan community, I often feel like I just want some time to myself, 
but that's not intended to come across as me being rude. As for the rail network itself, and on some of my more recent rail fanning adventures, actually come to think of it, just about all of them, things haven't worked out entirely as expected, and I've ended up getting very stressed, for more reasons besides a simple change of plan. That's mainly when I've been watching trains on the main line, and I think the heritage circuit is more relaxing and predictable. I don't like not having a clue on what's going on, especially when rare movements are concerned, and don't get me started on the unpredictable works trains. I see myself leaning more towards heritage railways and mainline excursions for future out-of-town trips, and I say out-of-town specifically because Tauranga doesn't get any regular passenger trains anymore, let alone excursions, and the nearest heritage railway is up in Weihe, around 60 kilometers north of Tauranga. As for future rare workings on the main line, and whether or not I'll be able to see them, that's entirely dependent on where and when they run, and if I'll even be able to get over there. I don't take these sorts of things for granted, or at least, not anymore. For the longest time, I've actually been very angry at the world and had a mostly negative outlook on life due to a whole host of uncomfortable things that happened in the past. Said events will not be discussed publicly. I don't deny the success of this channel, and I'm aware of just how lucky I've been to see such a wide variety of places and railways in my life, even while staying in New Zealand most of the time. But sometimes, the success on the railways feels like a crude patch barely covering a life that's otherwise weighed down by ongoing mental health issues. Speaking of which, they do seem to be improving, albeit just about as slow as KiwiRail's efforts to build the Oakley to Marsden Points line. Come to think of it, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my parents for their support over the years. I have no idea how I would get on without either of them. As it stands now, and, like I said earlier, I don't have too much going on in my life outside of YouTube. <coughs> Most of my few remaining friends from school, it's down to single digits at this point, are often busy with their own lives. Hell, I think they've all moved to other cities, and some even live in Australia now. So that leaves me with little to do outside of the railway stuff. I have tried making new friends in the last five years or so, but most of those attempts went about as well as the Bang Chow Dam's efforts to hold back a flood in 1975, so I don't have much, if any, hope for future efforts, as it were. Over the last eight years or so, I've been listening to a lot of old music from the 1960s through to the 1990s. My favourite type of music, or rather types of music, is 1980s era rock, pop and new wave. I bring this up because a few songs, especially the more recent discoveries, have subjects that I can really relate to, and I'm hoping that I can raise awareness of these older songs. Examples are as follows. Someone Saved My Life Tonight from Elton John, Marianne Faithfull's version of The Ballad of Lucy Jordan, Crazy Train from Ozzy Osbourne, Harden My Heart from Quarter Flash, Telegraph Road from Dire Straits, Separate Ways, parentheses, Worlds Apart from Journey, Sunglasses at Night from Corey Hart, Photograph from Def Leppard, and Vanishing Point from New Order. And if you're curious to listen to any of those songs yourself, I strongly recommend finding the extended album or 12-inch versions, if they exist. When I find a song that I really like, Case in Point, Waterloo from ABBA, I want it to go on for as long as possible, hence my preference for the albums and 12-inch extended versions not to mention my fierce hatred of radio edits.
Despite the questionable state of New Zealand's railway system in 2024, and my changing preference towards the heritage railways, I still try to enjoy the remaining mainline services while they're still running. Indeed, another one of my Thomas stories is about trying to enjoy the good things in life while you still have it. The story is named after one of my favourite Queen songs, namely Hammer to Fall. As for the situation with Train Sim World, I don't see that getting any better anytime soon, especially if Dovetail Games continue with their terrible business model. Despite Dovetail's habit of putting in minimal effort for immediate earnings, I still like TSW, and still play it from time to time. Like I said earlier, someone still has to take one for the team on this front. And my reviews have often been some of the most popular videos on this channel. Some people don't like what I say, but that's to be expected these days. In the words of Brett Cooper, I don't care if somebody disagrees with me. We're all allowed to have different opinions. So, despite my mental health issues, and the world generally being an absolute fucking shit show, to say the least, I still thought, you know what, fuck it, I might as well do something productive with my time. This means that, for the foreseeable future, I'll still continue making YouTube videos, be they Thomas the Tank Engine stories in Trains 2019, Train Simulator and Train Sim World reviews, real life rail fanning, or even the rare YouTube poops slash memes slash shitposts. But I dare say I'll still take a break from uploading every now and then. Not just because Brett Cooper has often discussed subjects that involve the phrase, go touch grass, but because it's important to get fresh air instead of staring at a screen all the time. And regarding the future of this channel, at the end of the day, who knows where things will stand even one year out from this video going live? I certainly don't.